Hello and welcome to another Warhammer Fantasy Battle Report. So this has been a while, but fear not for I've been trying to improve the quality of my reports. So this time I tried using a program called Battle Chronicler. It's quite a useful tool for showing a clear overview of the battle so that the tactical ingenuities can become all the clearer. But uh, sadly enough this is once again not a complete report. But I cast what I can. So let's start with the deployment. Uh, the Lizardmen deploy a big block of Saurus warriors uh, with their general to hold the center, together with the Stegaton. Skinks guard the flanks with a level 2 priest in their midst. Fire Lizards and Coldwind Riders making up the right flank. A very scary sight indeed. On the other end, the Skaven have assembled three hordes of rats, plague bunks, more of capable of holding the center with their high toughness. On the left we have clan rats eagerly waiting for battle and the prospect of loot and fame. While the slaves on the right much less enthusiastic to be against the strong side of the lizardmen. And no skaven would, uh, would be complete without the fearsome but unreliable war machines. Bringing two of those, uh, well two warp, link, warp lightning cannons and uh, a rattling gun. The Lizardmen take the first turn and march forward, staying well out of Skaven charge range. And harnessing the power of the heavens, the Skink Priest aims to cause the first casualties. The magical onslaught is deftly dispelled by the level 4 Skaven Wizard, uh, who has an item that allows for a second channeling attempt on a 5+. Plus. So that really uh, negates uh, more of the, of the Lizardmen magic. The Skaven, having suffered no casualties, uh, are content with holding their positions and letting the Horned God help them toward victory. With a power skull, the dreaded 13th spell lays waste to the Saurus warriors. Well uh, worth the cost of the three wizard levels um, the wizard lost due to the miscast. And after a shot from the warp lightning cannon, only the general and four warriors remain. Additionally, a doom rock goes off, but that does little. The rattling gun on the left side takes out six skinks, and as cherry on the cake, the slaves manage to kill a cold one rider through its two plus armor slaves with their slings. But the first sa skaven casualty is also made when the second warp lightning cannon misfires and explodes into hot brass shrapnels. While not wanting to engage in combat, the lizardmen edge closer while the skinks take tactical positions. The skink priest leaves one of the skink groups on the right uh, and take a, in my opinion, great position. The heavenly magic once again fails to uh, make any casualties, but at least force the use of a dispel scroll. The skinks on the left fail to bring that down the cannon, however. The Skaven see the opportunity to charge the weakened lizardman army, but lack the speed, having their charge fall short. The magic picks off two skinks from the Stegodon crew and slaves once again doing a surprising amount of damage with their skin, uh, slings taking down four skinks. The rattling gun, gun also doing a great amount of damage but sadly enough against their own troops taking down the last warp lightning cannon. In turn three, the first eventful turn of the uh, lizardmen. The Stegodon and the remainder of the Saurus charge into the po uh, plague monks and the cold one riders into the slaves. The skinks reposition behind the enemy for should they flee, and the fire lizards stay out of charge range of the clan rats. The magic is once again unsuccessful, but this time the shooting cleans up the rattling gun and six clan rats. The right flank completely crumbling under the assault of the cold ones, wiping out the slaves. The center made it for a surprisingly even fight, both sides raking in seven kills. However, against superior numbers the old blood flees though luckily the Stegodon holds. The Skaven clan rats, making for a very long charge, get into combat with the fire lizards. Skaven magic failed to get death friendly, frenzy cost, but was able to get the mage away from the skinks with the skitter leap. The clan rats break the fire lizards, but overrun a spectacular 3 inch, falling short to overrun the lizards and the fleeing cold blo old blood. The Stegodon, still locked in combat with the Plague Monks, managed to win a round of combat, making the Monks lose their frenzy. 
Sadly enough, turn 4 is the last Lizardman turn for this match, but they make it count. Rallying both the Old Blood General and the Fire Lizards, Skinks chase after wither the Wizard with uh, uh, the Cold Ones swinging around behind the Plague Monks. The Heavens finally answering the Skink Priest's calls, Irresistible Force, Harmonic Convergence, allowing all ones to be re-rolled, that's to hit, to wound and armor saves. This allowed the Stegodon to finally break the stalemate combat, uh, killing a whopping 9 monks, breaking the Skaven, but failing to catch them, chasing the full 2 inches. Knowing that this is the final turn, the Skaven pin all their hopes of winning on taking out the Old Blood uh, General and rallying the Plague Monks. The monks luckily rally, and the wizard getting uh, Death Frenzy cast on the clan rats um, make the fight for the Lizardman General very hard. The general puts up an amazing fight, taking out four clan rats, but against those kind of frenzied rats, uh, the old blood finally falls. And with that, the battle is sadly concluded. The Skaven getting a meager win, 680 to 480 points, despite the amazing start of the battle. So, if you liked uh, the new and hopefully improved battle report, you can tell me in the comments or you can use the handy YouTube feature called the like button. So, I'll see you guys next time and remember, have fun!